All right, what do we have here? Let's uh, take a look. This is a new match. Guild versus Alliance. Guild versus Alliance. Um, split first map. Ferret on Rays instead of uh, Sova. XMS on Astra. Nice. Hype on Cypher. Very nice. Locker on Breach. I like this lineup. I like this lineup. You can still use the Rays as double satchel for, for the... For the flashes and raise is just so much better than jet on split and we see a mirror match apart from the fact that they play omen instead of astra and i feel that this is actually because of this this thing here this difference i feel this lineup is favored on paper of course you know on paper because i feel like omen has shitty ult when you compare it to to the wall uh has worse utility the only the paranoia bails them out the paranoia is fantastic but it costs 400 while astra is super cheap to play and she has so much utility on pistol rounds it's absolutely insane and the difference also here in the pistol round right look at look at the look at the equipment two frenzies on attack Two frenzies on attack, one ghost, so no paranoia. Two flashes, probably yeah, armor, classic. And the defender has ghost, one flash. Interesting. And aftershock. And he plays on B? No, he plays mid. But with the aftershock, he's actually able to stop the plant for, for a long time. No wall. Wait, what? Nah, she has to buy it, right? She has to buy it. She didn't buy it yet. Wait, what? Oh no, the wall is already used. This is already like this. The round began. 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 So it, it's put up on the A. Okay. And uh, wait, this is. Uh, so Guild. Guild is playing B split with a default A player. While we have here. This is a smoke from Omen, if I'm not mistaken. We are live into this. They take the orb. Yeah. So, okay. See? All right, guys. You remember my guide? Uh, you remember my guide from, um, from, from about smokes? Look, this is a very good example of an attacking smoke and a defending smoke. Because this one is from Astra, while this one is from Omen. Right? So the defending smoke cuts off the doorway. <laughs> right here so they have to push and they have no idea where anyone is while this smoke is deep on site so it allows to um it allows to creep on site and just go outside from many angles for the defenders to be fucked so this is a good example of what i was saying in my guide that you don't want to you want the defender smoke to end in a tunnel while the attacker smoke is extending the tunnel see if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to my YouTube and find the smoke guide. This is what many people in solo queue don't understand. They're like, why are you smoking like this? Like, why are you smoking like this? Why, why are you doing this? this? This doesn't help. It does help. You just have to know how to use it. I like this because they destroyed the wall and now they're pushing from it. Like, uh, defenders have no idea what's happening because they they don't have control, but there's still the camera from Cypher on B. So they can have quick rotations because of that, because uh, the attackers didn't destroy that. And there's still a trap in, in, in vents, so this is gonna be odd. He hears the trap wire. It's pro the trap wire is probably here. Where's the trap wire? Did they destroy it already? I think they destroyed it already. Wait, what? I don't see it on the mini map. Wait, what? Yeah, they destroyed it earlier and just went in. Okay, so this is this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be weird. There's the smoke 
on CT. JD is alone, not JD. Leo, no, what? Kada, Jesus Christ. Kada is alone on any side, playing elbow. So he's gonna get pushed like this. So he has to defend elbow first, I guess. Because he's alone. He, his, his, his task is to delay, delay the absolute push by using his slows. He has one slow. So he has to use it as soon as he hears the rumble on the A Heaven A and just survive. Like he needs to survive for as long as possible. Yeah, this is this is why he plays like this. He moves from elbow because he knows that the elbow is being attacked first from Haven. Like, look, when someone is attacking from Haven, right? They have a longer route to be on here than to here. So I like how Kata just moved over here. He's gonna hear this guy here, and he's gonna flick to him. See, now he here. See, he sees him. But now the question is, does he win the gunfight? Does he survive? Because it's instrumental. If Alliance wants to win or increase the odds of winning, this guy needs to at least take one. Two, perfect. One, okay. Zero, not nice. And Sage Wall here cuts off and delays the rotation from B. Very good play by uh, by Leo. Like this, this wall delays so much in a pistol run, so they can just take control of an entire A site. Whoa! 21 HP, man. The small shields rescue him. And then Kata just dies because he got damaged in the beginning of the round, so he didn't have armor. And now look, look. It's a 4v5 retake. It's gonna be so tough. Let's take a look on, on the setup. So, uh, Draken just holds heaven. He knows that no one pushed because they have to destroy the wall. And they have to go basically CT to push for that. There's the smoke from Draken here. So they have to push, like, you know, they have to push through the doorway with no preparations whatsoever. We, we see Bonkar, no utility. So he's just holding this with a gun. And then those guys. So this, there's, a, there's two possible ways of, of setting this up. Okay. One guy holding elbow. And when he has contact, the guy from, from this peaks as well. Or the other way around. This guy holds this. And when he has contact, the guy from elbow peaks, right? So you never hold with two people at the same time. You play for contact. And, and Bonker can actually play from here because Draken just holds this so he doesn't have to worry about anyone peeking from heaven on him on, on the rafters. Wait, 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 what happened? Ah, very nice play. So XMS... XMS from Astra, look. See this? A counter smoke. This smoke, this smoke cuts off Bonkar, so they cannot play the crossfire that I just explained. And because of that, Yassin had to go back on site. See? He's not holding elbow anymore because Bonkar gave him the info that he smoked off. And now that basically allows them to push the elbow, kill the people on site, and not worry about the guy that was holding, like, you know, probably under rafters and maybe one ramp. So now Draken has to either go here or has to go here as soon as possible. He knows about the smoke, so he can just push with a knife and and go with Bonker and get trades when they push through the smoke. But I feel like actually going to heaven is more beneficial uh, because I don't... F I, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, he has the info that no one pushed through this. So we'll see what he does, actually. They push the elbow. Bonker is still behind the smoke. I don't think he sees anything unless the smoke is bad. Nice. Draken. How the fuck did he kill him? Ah, because he went like this and there's a gap in the smoke. Okay. Oh, Scythe Frenzy against this. He has the kill, right? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Nice. Bonkar pushed for the smoke. Yeah. So Bonker actually helped the teams, the team by using his aftershock, sorry, fault line to stun elbow. It was actually crucial. Good, good play. Good play by both teams, actually. Well played. 
good setups, good counterplays, and I feel like this was actually a good example of what it, what it, what can happen on the pro level play. Hello, I am fat. What do we have here? Full eco. One ghost from XMS because he plays a very cheap character. And just pushing. I like this. Pushing the cipher on eco is just. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we can. We need to talk about this. Yeah, there's nothing interesting happening here. XMS, though, used two stars right here. And just popped him. Because he probably has three, or, or like he has maximum five, so he can use two uh, for free because he gets two refreshed. So it doesn't matter. How are we looking at the ultimates? Anything interesting? Safe with the kills. Yeah, that's useless. <laughs> uh, three vandals on split, man. Interesting. Oh, wait. Fjord has... Fjord plays with, with a Spectre? So he didn't opt for small... Sh what? He actually bought two satchels? Whoa, okay. 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 This is pretty cool. Let's let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. Uh, so Yasin on the bonus round. This is a very cool setup. He will just double satchel like this while Bonkar supports him with the flashes. So first flash goes here, if I'm not mistaken. And then the second flash goes here. Through here, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look. First flash. Where does it go? Okay, so he has line of sight like this. As I, think, I think actually the first flash just goes here. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it goes here. The flash goes here. Like this. Very good. So this allows that scene to take control. He only needs to check this angle. Ah, oh, here. Here's the flash. Oh, wait. So it bobs here. So it flashes this guy here. Very good. Even better, right? This is this flash is better than this one. Then the second flash most likely will be played here. Let's take a look. This is a counter flash from Lucker. And a counter paran uh, and a paranoia. Oh my god, look at this setup. Look at this setup. This is so good. So we see a scene flying here. The flash being used here. He didn't actually check the right corner, but that, that's okay, I guess. <laughs> no one was there. And then the paranoia pushes people even further back. Down towards middle, you see you sprayed up and away. All these nice. They were, they were all flashed. Yasin was flashed as well. He just does this blind. He does this blind because they know they're paranoid and he can just do this to get him map control. Very good play. Very good play. He just pushed them away. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfo <laughs> unfortunately, they were not prepared for XMS to push out of, out of vents. Unlucky, man. But very good plan. I really liked it. That's a, such a good execution from... Uh, from guild. I really like that. Hello, Jesse. Phantom is better on split? Yes, because you are closer to your opponents, typically. Bazooka, yeah, sure, I can move it. Yeah, 
15v3. Still able to do some damage here. Hype going to clean it up though. Finds three birds. It's still a good bonus round. Still a good bonus round. Alright, so first buy round for guild. Baki on XMS. Okay. But uh, we'll take it. And on the other side for Guild, a, a fair purchase across the board now. It looks like a set piece to take some sort of... If Guild takes this run, it's probably going to be like 5-1. Aggressive push here uh, because of the flash to get info. And then uh, Fira just peeks Garage. He doesn't see anyone. This is why the rotation happens, see? Like, they peeked the Garage. No one was here. So they already rotate towards A. And Fira just takes... Be, uh, be heaven, and this is walled off, so he only needs to like watch B entrance and play retake B, because they will just focus on playing an A. Trickle on through hype, going walk about shows a little bit of presence as well. So both extremities now checked in on and guild closing towards mid. Nice combination of the satchel to destroy the sage wall instantly. Very good. Wait, who's playing with the Sheriff? What? Who's that? That was XMS? But he has a Bucky. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Nice, but he got away. But this is the fake. This is the fake. Leo uses the wall to fake that they're going B. And instead they're focusing their efforts on A. The thing is, there's two, still two people holding ramps and one guy is still on A. Because this is not being destroyed. Oh. That was a HUD. I guess problem. He had a sheriff instead of a Bucky. There's a plugin that makes YouTube video full screen within the browser window, so you, you will not have the white part in the bottom. Want the link? Sure. I'll use it for the next map. Actually, I can just make it full screen. Right, can I? I should be able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just make it. My, my, my bad. My bad. I can. We can. I can just do it full screen like this. Don't worry about it. I should have done that before. Lul. Learning process. So a default attack two two one setup. And Alliance just uses the wall on A to get to get at the orb control very fast. Is Guild Esports David Beckham's team? I mean, yeah, but he's just a marketing tool. It's not his initiative. He was paid to be an owner. So basically, David Beckham is being bought by Guild to act as an owner. So it brings good PR for Guild. It's not like uh, David Beckham was like, oh, wait, maybe I should make an esports organization. Aha. Uh -huh. He was asked to do it. And he was bought to do it. He's basically like an influencer for guilt. Walking back away. Still in that spike. This is quick progress being made. We are working on a real Ooh. Ooh, Ooh, the timing, man. <laughs> Positions being noted, and here we go. Burst towards rafters. No one close by. There's now they've played aggressively. This is a little sketchy. You can get kind of pinched in on this. They're still showing presence elsewhere on the map. Kind of with the kill. That's so big. Interesting that Draken just went alone there. Right. Ooh. You can feel bad for, for Fjord here. And he has... Now he has a weapon. 
and the showstopper. He had it before, but not, now he might actually use it. The thing is, he's at 57 HP. And Leo with the Spectre kill. Oh my god, dude. And now the Scythe. Oh. This doesn't look good for defenders. Yasin used the showstopper. Goes in. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. I mean, it went badly for Alliance because Fear just peaked Garage and got punished. Hello, Metfu. Like, there's everything falls apart here because because Yasin gets the kill on Garage. I feel like Fjord overstayed his welcome. He knew there's a guy there, and yet he he fought against him. Thank you, Carlos. How good is this guy on race? So, when it comes to Yasin, he's very good. But the problem with Yasin is that he's sometimes reckless. In most situations, he's very similar to Sinead, I would say. He makes really odd decisions that will be paid off most of the time if he actually works. But if it doesn't work, everything falls apart. And he doesn't have a dash, he has satchels, so it's not as easy to bail himself out. Yasin is one of the guys that I would not like to play with in a team with because he's unpredictable. You cannot control this guy. This Yasin is the type of guy that just goes in, does what he wants to do, and that's it. It works or doesn't. You know? They, they play on a patch where Bucky is not nerfed, by the way. Go. Satchel up and kill them. Satchel up and bro. Go. Go full with Bucky. Satchel up. Nice. <laughs> See? This is this is what I would have what I would be doing myself. Oh my god, he has the show so he knows they're there. Oh my god, dude. They got pushed out by the nade. Perfect setup for that. Perfect setup. And insane, man. This this is not possible to do anymore because of the changes of Bucky's. You can't do stuff like this anymore. Finn McCool, type an exclamation mark Phantom. And you're gonna know which one is better, Vandal or Phantom. This, this is like nuts. But Guild... You know, when I was doing, like, VOD reviews for my casting, Guild is always playing this setup. Guild is always playing this setup. Cypher alone takes this camera. Like, they're so easy to read on attack. I, I don't know. They, they typically, like, fake going B, then go mid, go vents, attack through heaven A, like for for the defenders they just need to kill this you know kill the camera so they lose the control kill this kill those two pieces of utility and all of this falls down word of our community's acclaim spreads oh she nikki the developer of riot nikki is actually responsible for weapon balance hey nikki how we doing thank you much for the raid <laughs> we <will laughs> Wait, I need to give you a VIP. At this point, you've got to kind of keep in check the basics. You can't let them get away with that. It's it's a calculated risk, but I mean, you're Yeah, 69, nice. Here, we just we just witnessed Nikki a very good double kill from Bucky's because it's the old patch. We had a good stream chatting about various game topics. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the play that happened here is not even possible anymore, but, you know. The Bucky is still... I, I like the changes on Bucky, Nikki. I really like it. I really like the changes on Bucky because it... Um, it still keeps it in, in, like, the genre of its... Oh, it's a shotgun. I should not be close. Uh, but it's not mobile. You cannot be... Like, you know, it's not a Quake shotgun anymore. Right? The Quake shotguns is just like, 
I was playing it but with bunny hopping, with like being super mobile, jumping over obstacles and just like shooting with the right click and so on, right? This is not possible anymore. I mean, you can still do it, but it's just not as lethal. So those are good changes. I like the changes on the Bucky. You can check the patch notes, Shingan. Uh, sorry, it was Slowy Turtle on the on the Bucky. The right click can still one shot, but it needs to be still. You have five, five. Um, what, what, what's the name? Five pellets. Each pellet does twenty damage. If it's a headshot, it deals forty damage. So you need basically four pellets to hit headshot to kill someone. It's not that easy. I'll be catching your strings from time to time. Time to sleep. Good night, everyone. Take care. See ya, Nikki. Thank you for the for the raid. Wait, wait, wait. What is happening here? Yasin is going with the judge, Nikki. Um, he goes with the support of of uh, of the flashes, right? Let me see. Okay. Um. Okay. 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 So first flash goes here, right? It explodes here, or even maybe here. Let's see. But I I'm guessing it goes here. So it explodes here. Uh, let me see. Then the paranoia goes here. Uh, let me see. Double satchels, right? No, the paranoia just goes straight up. Straight up. Straight up. There's a one way here. Just to scare people away. Okay. Just the flash explodes here. But there's no one on A, so they just get it for free. But it's still a good setup. I like it. I like it. Wait, he he went for the ultimate for info. Where was it? On CT? Yeah, on CT. So he gets info on CT. He doesn't see anyone, but he, he, they don't know if someone is here. So he doesn't want to stay here. So he just cancels and goes back to Suez. Ah, he was aftershocked. Wait. The aftershock was from the... Their own breach. Okay, never mind. Oh. How did he not die? All right, five people on... Five people ramp push. Five people ramp push. Whose flash was that? I think Bonkers. Uh, sorry, not Bonkers. That was Lucas' flash. But it was on site, I think. Five people go through ramp. They have a good crossfire. Look, Scythe is not moving. He's just holding this. Draken has control if someone goes here, right? If someone peeks from this angle, Draken has control. If someone peeks like this, Safe has control. So if Safe, if Safe has contact. Draken just sidesteps and has has line of fire. It's just the problem is that there's five people here. So, but if they kill if they kill two, it's worth. If they kill three, it's ultra worth. Over to this side of the map, so. Who stunned them? I think that was this. And now the the ultimate from uh, from Bonka will be used like this. What? What did I just witness? The fault line actually hits hits uh hits Scythe. So he <laughs> Scythe actually gets killed because of it. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit odd. It stopped the push. It it stopped the push, right? So it buys them time, but at cost of Scythe's life, which I I guess it's okay. Gets one kill, but that's about it. I like the Astro's wall, by the way. It just keeps them all here, you know. It, it all fell down because Draken, um, Draken and Scythe don't get enough kills. They actually didn't get a single kill, even with this setup, you know, which is quite unfortunate.
Yes, seeing the same on A lob B, but it's still default setup. The camera from Cypher will be used here. Right? Did he? Does he? No, he went for the cage over here. Where's the camera? So, yeah, he uses it aggressively, but it gets instead destroyed. They get mid control, which is being um, for forfeited by by Alliance because they have this trap here. Something that we can see over and over by teams being used. So now Bonker just has to destroy it as soon as possible. Yeah, here we go. It's destroyed. Now they lost control. Alliance has no control over Haven A. Like this. This is a problem. And now Yasin pushed. They have ramp control. So now this is this is a problem for Alliance. They have to play retake. And they play the similar position that we have seen in pistol round, but by different players. So one has holding sight. While the rest is trying to rotate one he once he, he gives the info. Like those two people here will give info. And there's the aggressive camera now here that takes control of CT. Look, look, look how they play with the shift. Look how much map control they have. And Alliance just has to play retake, but they saw XMS and now he's such a bad position. That was from Lucker, right? Lucker just used his ultimate like, like this. To stop them from pushing, which buys time for XMS to not die, but he dies anyway for the smoke by Scythe. Oh, Kada with very important kill. Does he have the ultimate? He does have the ultimate, but XMS is too far away, so he cannot get the the res. Now they push four on side, and look. Look at this. The rotation was not coming in because they didn't have control of this. Like, they have no idea what's happening. This is the problem that if you play the trap here and you lose it fast, then you have to guess uh, play a double double guessing game. And now four people push on side where there's only two defenders because the rotations were not even popped. A bit of a trade out, 10 seconds. They still need that spike. Plant is coming in. Kata is still. Oh my. Wait, I thought he killed him. Never mind. <laughs> okay. He got. He gets the one, but there's the trade. Like, this is such an important. Like, look, look at this. Look at this. This is so important. Keda gets the one kill, which is already already the insane task when you have two people like holding this, right? But if he doesn't get killed by Yasin, then Kada wins the round most likely alone. But this is such an important like trade. So no one is gets gets a 1v1 kill. Hype. <gasps> okay. Okay. Okay, that was a little bit odd. Hype gets allowed to kill like three, basically. Oh my god, dude, nuts. And now Yasin has to clutch this. This this shouldn't have been allowed, man. Let's take a look at this, okay? Um They didn't see they didn't see um the cipher yet in this round, but they know there's a still trap here, so no one is here. No one is here. He can only come from vents. He can only come from here. Let's see how this looks. Draken is holding... Uh, I think he's holding vents. And, and this is this is something that we'll see a lot of people do this mistake. Uh, Leo will sidestep and peek on an angle without having the weapon ready. Look. He couldn't shoot yet. This wasn't even a full second. He was still, like, not ready with the Vandal. He had it out, but it wasn't ready to shoot. So this is awkward. But now let's see if Yasin clutches this. But it's still possible. If he gets one kill, he gets the, uh, he gets the grenade, the paint shells. And he has a good position to play like this. And he has the sat. Uh, ooh, good. Good trade. But let's see if if Lucker actually hits the headshot. No, he missed. <gasps> Lobbed. So it stops here. This will affect the bomb, which is planted for heaven. So he can play safe. He still has five bullets. He doesn't have to reload. He, uh, <laughs> he exchanged the gun for six bullets. I guess one more, right? He, he clutches this. This is impossible to do. 
Yeah, pfft, dude. So hype almost almost bailed them out, but Yasin clashes by playing smart. All right, again the same setup from Guild. I don't know, man. They keep keep getting away with the same setups. And uh, this time we're gonna see Firot again aggressively peak Garish because of a flash or a fault line. Yeah, he went even with a satchel. So he gets the he gets the aggressive control. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, he gets the old orb because of that. And now this time mid control to heaven B. Hello Let's there. see how that goes. Hmm, okay. Just went in blind. Interesting. Counter ult from Furot, but it's zero for zero. That was a big, big commitment to go to heaven B to fake it and slow it down. But they didn't destroy the traps and in, in that, that's a little bit I don't know, that's weird. They typically first destroy the traps that then to commit, but now they faked without actually destroying the traps first. So they didn't get they didn't gain anything from this execution, which I find a little bit odd. They wanted to I, I guess they wanted to change the pace of the of the game, but they were essentially stopped by the utility. Because of the cipher cage and the cipher trap and heaven be, ooh, 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 he gets the hatchet by Leo of the double kill, man. That's nice. I don't think they can do anything here. There's nothing interesting happening here, right? Yeah. Four people garage B. I guess they really want to to change the the way they play, because now. Now they know. Ah, okay. So they push Garage B because they know that the the opponents play on a half buy or on a low buy. Same camera was used on on here on A, but Yasin is already on site. Gets the kill. It was supported by the flashes. It's it's so hard to stop this, especially on a low buy. So they get the site for free. This is not an interesting round, to be honest. Those are just exit kills. But I like uh, punishing B players with the low buy. This is something that you see often by many teams. And again, we see the default, right? Trap here. Camera here. Trap here. Trap here. This is the default from both teams. But I don't really like what Alliance is... I don't really like what Alliance is doing. They are not destroying this trap early on. They could. They could. Because they, they know this setup. Like, this is something I really feel like Alliance didn't prepare. Uh, and they should have. Like, Guild almost every single round uses this trap and this camera. And not many times I see it destroyed. And I feel like those two, key, two pieces of utility should be destroyed every round. And you can do that without even being exposed. Like this is the easily destroyable from everywhere. And you can wall bank to destroy this trap. It's something that an analyst should say to your team. You do this shit. So they destroy the trap and, they, and the uh, attackers lose the map control because of that. When, they, when the cypher rotates to help. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. This, this is weird. Look, this is something I really don't like uh, uh, Yasin doing on defense, but on attack is actually, it's okay. It's like semi-okay. Because they have the res. Kata has the res, right? So even if Yasin gets a kill here, right? And he dies, then they're still losing, right? 
because it's a 5v4. But it's on attack, so it's not that big of a deal. And they have their own res to counter that. So it's back to 5v5. Oh my god, and they pushed... How the hell was that allowed? No one is just holding this. Three people on B. That's weird. That's weird. I feel like Locker should have should have gone to Heaven B and just or at least use some utility to stop the pushes. Let's go. I mean, it's a four v two man. They're getting dissembled. Dismantled, I want to say. Oof. Leo, so many kills this round. 8 4, man. 8 4 on attack. Typical split. And no joke, split is an attack map, in my opinion, in competitive play. Split is an attack map, in my opinion. Alright, let's see the pistol rounds for both teams. So now Alliance with the attack. Feared no satchels. No, wait, wait. Leon, uh, Firot, no satchels. So no aggressive pushes. No flashes into satchels plays. Uh, Guild is playing Sage, Wall, Orb Control. So the same as, as Alliance did. One trap from Cypher. Camera mid. Camera mid is something that I don't see often. And I liked it. I like it. I like this. I like this. I wonder where exactly is this? Is this easily destroyable? I'm not sure. And a default trap on a B push, which most likely will not happen because the Cypher will just play safe, right? And he will just rotate for spawn. Oh, 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 oh. Is Guild actually playing aggressive mid push? This is why we see the camera. So the camera, in combination with the Satchel push and the flash, will give them a lot of control. And I'm assuming Omen will go for either here paranoia or here paranoia. Depends on the timing. Let's see. In front of it. Smoke first. Okay. Wall on A to go for the orb control. What else is happening? Leo is a very solid player, I will say. Okay, he didn't go for the satchel because he didn't see anyone. Okay. But he was prepared to actually satchel if they would see opponents, I guess. Interesting. Interesting. The, the, the wall got destroyed, so now there's a counter, fly, uh, counter smoke. So they cannot push for this. But there's no map control. Uh, from, uh, from Alliance. Look, Alliance is stuck. Alliance is stuck. They know no one pushed Garage. Because the trap is still here. I mean, maybe someone pushed Garage, but he didn't go far. And um, Hype is just holding mid in case someone pushes, right? While uh, Alliance, sorry, while Guild, Guild does, uh, they, they have mid control. I mean, vision control. But that's it. They, do, they are not really sure what's happening. The opponents can still be in Garage B, they can still be here. They cannot be here, but the opponents can be here, can be here. So they, they cannot rotate at all. Have at least the kind of watch of mid from the cypher. You can see kind of making sure that no one can creep to sewers. So there's somewhat safe. Yeah, see, there's a smoke here as well. Drake, what? What? So there's somewhat safe from that. And, you know, oh my god. That was just, I guess, Locker didn't expect to get double dinked like this, you know? With a pistol arrow. Hello Vitalis, I'm good. What about yourself? So now they went to ramp. And because of that alliance lost the entire control. So many people up ramp. Because of the smoke. But it's still like good. It's 5v4. Two people pushed from heaven A. Two, uh, two vents. But they, I, I guess they have to wait. They cannot push, right? He actually pushes the madman. Oh my god. Oh my, that's the spike! What? 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 
But XMS bailed him out with a double kill. I don't know how he was allowed to do this, but he has seen basically like won the round. Kara just pushed with the spike to Vance and 14 seconds left and Scythe is still on side because he didn't have to... He didn't have to go anywhere, man. Five seconds. Yeah, oh my god, dude. But why Kara was pushing that? I don't understand. I don't understand Kata here. Like, he didn't have to. Look. Look. He could have followed up his teammates. Instead, he went back. And lost the spike. He lost the round by doing this. I don't get it. Someone's made a mess in events. It smells terrible. No one's loving it. Uh, nine to four, though. This is an issue for Alliance. Okay, so here the setup is... Um, here the setup is Alliance is on an eco and they want to go B, right? But Guild is anticipating that, so they have a fault line prepared for that, and then they have two, gu two guys in guard. I like this play. I like this play because they play defensive on A. Look, they have a camera for control, two traps on mid. If they hear like steps mid going here, then uh, Bonker is still okay with flashes and he could just buy time. Yeah, this is this is a cool setup. I like this. And a smoke goes mid. Yasin just pushes Gauge like a madman. Look, look at the fault line here and look at the fault line here. Two fault lines being used. He gets stunned. Doesn't matter. He has a Bucky. The stun doesn't really matter against the Bucky. Can still hold the same way. Hey, just get. It literally, literally went into a meat grinder. Like, that's it. That's it. But it was, a con it was a good counter play by Guild. They just went and just killed all of them because they had a good setup. The flashes from uh, from uh, Bonkar allowed them to do that as well. Like, there's no way you can do anything with that. Unless you get lucky while being blind. Ooh. Yeah, they destroyed it so quickly and they push so fast. Alliance is, Alliance wants to draw blood. Oh, the flash. Oh, oh, what? How Cyphus even goes away with one kill there? I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah, Sin is gonna kill like three. No, no damage, no damage, by the way. Oh, he get, he gets this 100%. Dude. You can still those bucky plays are still possible, just not as mobile effective as this this were before, you know? Alliance, I feel like Alliance is a little bit just tilted and lost. Like they, they because of that, they went like, ah, oh, fuck it, let's push. Let's push us five. And then they're like, okay, but they have utility still and they're just gonna stop us, you know? I got the jail drink, that is correct. It was left to me at the doorway. One pain shell just stops the entire push, man. The sewers, look at this. Approaching. Look at this shit. Wait, is he backstabbing them? 
He is, right? That's Draken. Wait, what? What is happening? Draken is backstabbing them, right? He, he gets a triple kill here. I'm certain. He has a phantom. And they have absolutely no why, why are we not watching Draken, by the way? Look. Look at this shit. No idea. And there it is. Draken with one, with two. There's nothing you can do about it. They are caught in between a rock and a hard place. They choose to go towards heaven, towards the rafters. Now Leo gets contact, but look who's waiting. It's just seen. Good setup. Good crossfire. Good crossfire by Guild. And good map control as well. And it's match point. Alright, let's see the match point. So Alliance has a full buy. Um, five Vandals, man. I don't know. I, I, I have to speak to some pro players and like coaches. Why do they insist on playing Vandals on split? I don't really understand it. I really don't. I really don't. The gun is just so much worse on everywhere, everywhere apart here. Especially with so many smokes and shit. Oh, wait, wait. Yasin just goes in. Man, this is not set up. Look, Yasin goes with the with the showstopper because of this camera. The camera just tells him, "Oh yeah, there are two people here. You can just kill him." Look. He doesn't even have to... He doesn't even need to see them. He can go through the smoke because of this camera. It's so nuts. Look, he gets a double kill here, right? One. And the second one gets, what, tagged? Wait, where is it? Uh, no, 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 here. Yeah. XMS should be like on half HP or something. 10 HP. 10 HP. Look at the camera. The camera is just so nuts. Look, we, we have the POV from the camera, right? Here, he can give the info if someone is at the stairs so Yasin can just go in without even seeing, he can just pop the rocket here. It's This setup is so nuts. This setup is so nuts. My god, dude. Okay. Uh, I mean, and he's still in the smoke. He's still in the, he's still in the smoke. He cannot be killed, man. What a setup. Fantastic. Fantastic. This camera is somewhere here. It's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, and it's just, just like you cannot do anything. You have 10 HP after the rocket, man. Yes, Dragon plays Valorant professionally. Such a good camera, man. Good good Valorant at the moment. I, I think this is what we've been enjoying seeing overall from Guild is their swing up in performance, right? It's that kind of stepping stone of okay, well we've seen the potential of what they could do. They lost the entire map control. At the same time. Guild can just play default now. They don't really have to care. They can even play like retakes. It's five v three. They don't have to fight, but they are so confident it's twelve twelve four, man. In the five v three, they can just do whatever, man. They can just he can be doing stuff like this and not being really punished. <laughs> oh, what? No way. No way that hype does stuff like this. What? Now it's getting a little bit sweaty. Two versus three. It's possible for Alliance because hype just bailed them out a bit. But Bonker has good. Oh my god. What? What? Ah, uh, Yasin clutches this. He checks this? No. What? Oh my god, dude. Okay, but Draken kills him. Dude. A hype just played out of his mind. Killed four. Killed four. But feared... I, I don't... I'm not sure what happened here. Wait. Let me see. Let me see. He's paranoia, right? This guy gets bonked. And now the paranoia went in. And I think it hit hit Firot. Did it hit Firot? Let me check. Yeah, he, he was hit. He was hit. But I'm not certain why is he peeking. Why is he peeking right now? Hype is is not paranoid, right? Firot is not paranoid now. And Firot and Hype is holding this angle. Firot has just to have to wait for the contact from 
from this line. I don't understand why is he peeking and sidestepping here. This makes no sense. Look, he's still paranoid. What? So this is why. But I still don't understand it. I still don't understand it. He's peeking with paranoia on, a, on an angle that he is at a disadvantage. Like, what's the point? Even if, even if Draken just steps here, he will not see him. And Draken gets a kill on hype because this guy is still paranoid. I don't get it. I really don't get this. I really don't. If you're paranoid, well, unlucky. Hype is get, gets killed. But you threw the round by doing this. This, I don't know. Like, uh, <sighs> Guild just played very well and aggressive. Yasin just kind of bunked them. But I feel like Alliance, Alliance didn't utilize. They, they didn't stop. They didn't anti-strat Guild at all on CT. They didn't destroy the utility from Cypher. So I feel like that there was just a lot of stuff that Alliance could have really done better in preparations and like mental game you know anyway all right three hours of world review that's that's okay that's enough for us